Hi ladies, I just wanted to pop in uh, and say hi before we get going. Disclaimer, I am drinking a glass of wine. Man, the, the these few days that I'm showing in this episode were really hard and that's why I titled this The Darker Side of Decluttering because it's not all fluff and happiness and cheerfulness. It can be really, really tough. And I think for most of us that are struggling with um, hoarding issues or clutter issues, it is hard and it is a little bit darker than and than fluffy happy it's all pretty boxes and labels and that sort of thing um but anyway i hope you enjoy this episode and please stay with me on this journey because i promise you it is gonna get better and and the end of the the light at the end of the tunnel is starting to shine over here so please stick with me so i just kind of started where I'd left off the day before and that is what was on the table. I wish I had counted how many times I filled up the table and then cleared the table and then filled up the table and then cleared the table. It's just like endless crap, like just endless stuff. And I just keep like finding all these binder clips and screwdrivers, I don't know, and post-its and I mean, I did, I was an office manager for a while. And so I have a lot of office supplies left over from that, but like way too much, like nobody needs that much like office supplies really. And now I certainly don't need them. So, I, and the cameras I do need to go through, um, and make sure there's nothing important on them, which I can't imagine there is at this point. I literally feel like I'm getting nowhere. I've been wandering here and there for like an hour and a half and I'm moving stuff out of like the closet and things that like don't need to be in the house really to make more space for things that do need to be in the house. But as I'm going through things, I'm just like, oh, I need this. Oh, I can't throw this away. Oh, I'm going to use this. Oh, like this is still good. And it's true, but man, I just have so much stuff. I go keep going. So I don't know if you guys can appreciate how slow this whole process really is. Um, I've been at it now for about two and a half hours maybe more and I've just managed to like move stuff around but I don't feel like I've made much progress there's just so much you know and I, I just really wanted to see if you guys can get how slow this is it's not like a overnight quick not sped up in real life. <laughs> so much pain. So much pain. More. More. Starting to not like glitter. Who needs that much glitter? Besides a kindergarten teacher. And even they don't need that much glitter. Okay, now I'm starting to get anxiety. You can tell I'm getting anxiety. So much money spent to like thousands of dollars. See how much anxiety I'm having right now? A lot. I can't even believe I kept going. <laughs> Just like, what? looking around. I don't know if any of you watched my kitchen clean out, but if you did, you recognize these. They're silicone wine glasses, cups that I was gonna get rid of. Yeah, well, I was like, oh, I can use those for my <sighs> resin, but you know what? I really don't think so. I am really gonna get rid of these, actually. So much. I just have to have 
have so much. Because you never know what color you're gonna need. You never know what you're gonna need. Or why. This box. Ooh. Box of a thousand craft sticks that I use for stirring my resin. A thousand stir sticks is a lot, even for me. So I'm gonna take a bunch out and then I'm gonna donate the rest. Cause I just can't. Oh shit. Yeah, what I don't say is like I fill that up and then I add a little bit more in just in case. Does that look like enough? I don't even like those. Does that look like okay, everything in that box I do use. Okay, so I've been at it for about three and a half hours and I absolutely feel like I haven't made a dent like at all so I think I'm gonna take a break for a little while because I just need a break and I might come back again today and I might not because yeah it's just like slow going I mean I'm doing it but man it is taking a long time and there's just like, I don't know where to put things. And I'm like, okay, well, I get rid of this, but, but I'm going to keep this. What do I do with it? Like, I don't like, I don't know. It's so weird. I'm just like roaming around, moving things around. And I mean, I am, I guess I'm making progress. I'm doing it. So it's better than nothing. But man, if you think that you can get through this in a day or two, and if, you know, your stuff is like, as bad as mine is and just yeah, adjust your expectations because it's not gonna happen in a day or two um like I did 10 hours yesterday and it literally looks like I didn't do anything so I'm just gonna take it easy on myself I don't want to burn out and I don't want to give up so I'm just gonna listen to that and take a break and maybe come back in a little while or maybe I come, come back, back tomorrow fresh <laughs> we'll see couldn't handle it it was too much already you know and look at this shit like what but do you notice I'm taking down the side table like I actually got it to be put away and then I took that rainbow um, organizer thing and I took all the paint out of that and I put it into the cute little hutch thingy that I got from my mother um, yeah because I was just like I don't need this janky like that by the way it cost $60 I mean can't believe that rainbow thing I like saw the tag I never took it off I was $60 like it's so janky look at it it like wobbles it's terrible $60 I mean it did come in handy and help me like keep things organized but oh and there's like cleaned out closet oh and there's all my frames that can't go outside so those are going into the closet um canvas which I will go through it might take me five years but I will go through it um and then I oh god <laughs> empty <laughs> empty and then I put everything on there and then we're back to outside we're back to outside and office supplies galore I mean it's so stupid like <laughs> I don't need any of that I didn't need it when I was in the office I don't need it now. Oh my god. I did go through some <laughs> the donation thing is like so little compared to what I'm keeping. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to go back through all that. My donation is like this and my body look at all this stuff I'm saving. Like why? Oh my god. Okay, we're going day five. Uh, <laughs> okay, I mean, like it still looks like a fucking disaster. It still looks like nothing happened, really. Like, actually. Oh, God, it's bad. oh you're gonna like that. Okay, so I moved the dog things into, like, the kitchen. <laughs> like, why in the kitchen? I don't know. Okay, and this was just like... <laughs> God. Okay, so now I have to move everything from one side to the other side. <laughs> but I do put the artwork there so it's not in the living room anymore. 
<laughs> so I guess that was successful. <laughs> God. And the little hutch is getting cleaned out. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, okay. Okay, serious time now. So I'm going through all, <laughs> all this stuff. And okay, so I come up. It's coming up, but I come up upon all these screws and I'm organizing my millions of screwdrivers. Like I really need like six screwdrivers in the house, right? Whatever. But I'm like super proud of myself. I've got that little um, organizer thing. Super great. Okay. Like blah, blah, blah. Um, now, mind you, I already have like a ton of hanging things outside, including screws, but I come upon the screws. I think it's coming up now. Here we go, the screws and the nails. And I put some into the hanging little mini thing that I kept. And then I, I started getting really stressed and I couldn't, I had to stop. I'm like, oh, let me look at the artwork. Here's some artwork. Yeah, so I, I, I changed modes because the anxiety level I was feeling over the effing screws. So then... <laughs> I was like, forget it. I had so much anxiety. I went outside. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to clean up the trash because that's easy, right? Let's just clean up the trash. Whatever's trash, you just clean that up. No big deal. Um, you will just clean up trash for the rest of the time because I didn't want to stop. Like I was in a mode. I was, you know, relatively happening with stuff, but I just couldn't like take it anymore. I had to stop I was going to use that paint for um, painting the inside of the house. Well, not anymore, unfortunately. Now I got to figure out how do I get rid of it because you can't just throw it away. Um, but anyway, I just was like, okay, let me clean up the garbage because that doesn't take any emotional toll. So I did. Um, I am really bummed about that paint though, by the way, because uh, I was going to use it to paint the kitchen and all that jazz, but not anymore. Anyway, that's day three, four, and five. Um, please do turn it, uh, please do tune in for the next episode because it is much better. It has gotten so much better. So please, please come back for the next video. You will see some better progress. Um, things do get lighter and better. Uh, but yeah, that was something else. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, and turn on your notification. No, if you did enjoy this, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss the next episode, which is going to be a lot uh, more interesting. Well, I'm in a much better mood in any case. <laughs> like, so hopefully you tune in for that because this was something else. I don't know. Anyway, have a lovely evening. And I will see you next time.